I'm a rabbinical student at Yeshivat Maharat in New York, studying to become an Orthodox female rabbi. So the, t the topic is Hanukkah, and Hanukkah is very much like the most popular Jewish festival that everybody knows about it and everybody loves. But I think there's some really deep messages in Hanukkah. The fact that I'm studying to be a rabbi is unusual in the Orthodox community, but it has been met with a lot of encouragement from many, many people. I know that some find it um, slightly challenging because change is always um, hard to manage. So actually, what I want to focus today is the light and the oil. So you can think about oil as what fuels us and motivates us. So it could be something that is nourishing in a physical sense, you know, and it's very rich. It could be something that motivates us as people, and it can also be that idea of like Torah. So my motto is very much when there is something that you see that needs to be done, you have to take responsibility to do it. And so I've tried to live by my motto and provide a platform for people to come together and rally around women's issues. About three years ago, I launched an Orthodox feminist movement. I came to the realization that so much more could be accomplished by actively inviting women's participation to take part in religious life. What does feminism mean to you? <laughs> That's a very long one. Okay. Feminism for me goes back to the Jewish value that both men and women are equally created in God's image and therefore we want to ensure that women and men have equal access to religious leadership, religious practice, religious fulfillment and that's the bottom line when it comes to orthodox feminism. Click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.